The goal of this procedure is to identify post-embryonic regulators of protein expression and localization in C. elegans using an RNAi-based genomic screen and fluorescently tagged proteins. Once the appropriate screening strain is constructed and an RNAi library is chosen, the first step of the procedure is to package the library clones into bacteria. The bacteria are then selected, grown up, and fed to staged C. elegans nematodes. After allowing the nematodes to grow for 72 hours, they are observed for alterations in the phenotype of interest. Ultimately, changes in the expression or subcellular localization of a tagged protein are visualized with fluorescence microscopy. This method can identify genes required for the proper subcellular localization of a fluorescently tagged protein. However, this protocol can be modified to identify genes affecting other postembryonic phenotypes of interest. The main advantage of this technique over existing published protocols is that we have optimized the consistency and level of the RNAi response in animals by inducing production of the double-stranded RNA in bacteria before plating. Demonstrating the procedure will be Kathy Bifus, a research associate from my laboratory. Within two months of beginning the experiment, prepare the clone library. First, streak bacteria from selected feeding library clones, as well as positive and negative controls, on LB carbonacillin tetracycline plates. For a positive control, use a clone containing a gene that produces a dose-dependent postembryonic phenotype, such as BLE4. For a negative control, use an empty vector or a clone containing a predicted pseudogene with no observed phenotypes. Incubate the plates overnight. For each